Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel and my name is Jazz and he is Jazeep and first of all I would like to say be safe from coronavirus. Yeah, the uh, world is about to come to the to end. end. <laughs> you never know. So guys, if you already plan or if you are planning to move to Dublin and would like to just give you some tips and suggestions when you're coming here, when you're moving here, let's get started. Yeah. आइए शुरू करते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूनिवर्सल टीप टू बी सेफ सो आयरलैंड इज अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस बट इट हैज सम डार्क साइड्स एवरी वन नोज एंड एवरी कंट्री हैज सम क्राइम सीन गोइंग ऑन हे एंड देर सो हेयर इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ थी नेचर गैंग्स एंड विच यूजली गिव अ ट्रबल टू फॉरनर्स इवन सम आयरिश ऑल्सो सो अवर एडवाइस इज जस्ट नॉट टू गो इन द डॉट एरियाज मैनी पीपल डोंट थिंक अबाउट इट विच आर द डॉट एरिया which areas are not safe uh, to live in and that's our advice also if you uh, if you're like first thing anyone do is, is to get a house and um we would suggest to get a house in the safe areas and new people do not actually have any idea where to get a house if we know that is safe if, which is the safe area and right, which is not right yes yeah. rents in ireland and dublin they are really expensive mm -hmm. but guys if you will go to cheap areas or areas which are not that good to live in you might going to have some consequences uh, today we thought we'll going to give you a list of the areas where you can move in mm -hmm. uh, which are the dodgy areas and overall uh, experience and some uh, useful tips mm -hmm. so basically this video is is all about list of some safe areas and dodgy areas and some tips um, how to stay safe in ireland so right. guys if you don't know emergency numbers in ireland No, you are wrong. They are not nine one one. They are nine 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 and one one two. Just to let you know, please put them in your speed dial. Mm -hmm. And even just to let you know, they are already saved in your emergency numbers. And one one two is also works in Europe. Uh, and both numbers are free to dial. Free, of course, yes. So, guys, our second tip is. You're gonna find so many scammers in the town or mm -hmm. um, inside the city center. They're gonna basically lure you into getting phones and computers and electronics, mm -hmm. guys. They are all fake. Just to let you know, they're gonna show you a good phone, mm -hmm. and then when you're gonna hand over the money, they would basically gonna mm -hmm. give you a fake or a duplicate phone or a laptop, mm -hmm. and then when you will, you are already trapped with them. Mm -hmm. Now you will not get your money back. So. Guys, there's no shortcuts. Mm. Don't take any phones or laptops. Yeah, if them. if you really want to buy a uh, second hand uh, stuff, uh, in city center you will find some uh, uh, shops which sells second hand stuff. Uh, example is Moore Street, which is actually in the city center, right in the middle. And uh, so you can buy a lot of stuff from over there. But do avoid uh, people selling stuff on the street. What they do is just they show you something else, but in the end they give you something else and. Once you give the money, you won't be able to see it's them. They'll be gone. So, guys, we'll now tell you about Dublin's geography structure, mm -hmm. right? So, Dublin is divided into twenty-four postal districts: Dublin One to Dublin Twenty-Four, which is which have separate air codes for all their addresses, mm -hmm. which work as a postal code as well. On the north side of the Liffey River, all the districts have odd numbers, and even numbers are in the south. Generally, just mm -hmm. to let you know, the south side is considered. To be much safer. safer than north, so you should always get your house somewhere in south. Though somewhere in north, there are good places as well to live, which, which we we're gonna to, describe now. You should avoid these um, uh, places to live in for, first of all. So near city center, uh, avoid living in North Circular Road, South Circular Road, Mount Joy, Summerhill is very bad area. Fairview is bad too. Uh, all the places which starts from Bally, uh, Ballymount, Ballyferman, and Ballyman, uh, they're they're not good places to live in. And um, Crumlin and some parts of Leperstown are al also bad. Like overall, uh, maybe eighty percent Leperstown is good, but some of the parts are very dangerous. Um, 
City West is bad, um, Tala is bad. Um, even though you were going to find so many mm -hmm. Indians living in Tala and in, in, in yeah. City West, still they have they, most of them they own their mm -hmm. own houses. But still, mm -hmm. if you have a good family over there. It's yeah. fine. All these places, sure. all these places, does have some states like very small, some small states which are safe, like which are uh, properly secured and uh, secured by the walls and the security gates and everything. They are fine. But uh, example, Jobstown. Jobstown is fully, fully notorious. Like no point, no way in hell you should live there. Um, as a foreigner, I'm saying like. Uh, if you really want to give it, take a chance, then yeah, why not? Who, nobody's stopping you. But yeah, uh, Rialto, you should also avoid. Fingless, I live in Rialto. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't uh, come here. So Fingless, uh, Smithfield. Uh, many people that say like, um, uh, many people do say like, um, uh, Smithfield is good. Um, I would say. I think Maybe forty percent is good. Yeah. The rest is like you gonna find lots of junkie doing injections and everything all of all over the place. And many, basically, no houses over there. Lots of apartments, um, but um, yeah, apartments and hostels as well. The so. neighborhood is is not is not good. Uh, Kimage is bad. Klontaf is bad too. Um, Cabra and the worst place to live in in Dublin, I would say, is Darrendale. Darrendale. Uh, many movies are also um, made on that um, place. Like it's it's very it's very bad. A lot of drug issues over there. Uh, gangs and every you name it, you, you're gonna find it over there. <coughs> and uh, so now he's gonna tell some. So guys, safe I'll, areas. I'll tell you some safe areas where most of the people would like to live because if they're coming to colleges, most of the colleges they are in town, which most of the Indians prefers to come, like Dublin mm -hmm. Business School, UCD, mm -hmm. DCU, and some other Trinity also. Trinity as well, right? I'm forgetting my bad. So list of these areas are as follows red mines it's a beautiful area to live in very nice cozy a little bit expensive so all these areas they are a bit expensive right balls bridge it's one of the most expensive area in dublin and yeah, it's very posh it's posh and Not by very, the way yeah, it's very posh and Sikh gurudwara temple is also here just in you know. serpentine yeah, that's bridge. very good area. black rock very nice herald's cross it's coming right next to red mines mm -hmm. dublin too uh, Dublin 2 is not really good, but you will going to find some places as there are loads of foreigners. Mm -hmm. They do respect each uh, other. Yeah, lots of hostels and yeah. lots of uh, posh kind of um, apartments you, you're going to find over there. And right. lots of business areas and markets. That's why it's, it's okay it's to live It's safer in. to live there in comparison to others. Mm -hmm. uh, Dremna. Mm. Uh, we lived over there. It's I won't say I it's won't next consider, to Kremlin, but uh, still, still, safer it's, still it's just a little bit safer. So, guys, the uh, the areas which we are giving you right now, they are not hundred percent safe or hundred percent fine. It's just they are livable. Now, some of the other areas are Sandy Mount, mm -hmm. Klonsky, Dolly Mount, Drumcondra, East Wall, Grand Canal Dock, and Rahini. Mm -hmm. So, all these areas. They are not really far from city center, and they are livable. They are they better. They to be safe. Yeah. Yes. Now there are some other areas as well, which are not close to city center, but little far, but still very good to live in. In fact, better than any of the others. Mm -hmm. These areas are Carrick Mine, Nocklin, Fox Rock, Sandyford, Dendrum, Red Farm. Terenior, Dunleary. Mm -hmm. Dunleary is very beautiful to live in mm -hmm. and expensive. And Templog. Mm -hmm. Some of the other areas in the north side are Balbriggan, Kesselnock, Houth, Melahide, Ongar, Skerries, and Swords. Okay, so these are the areas um, like. Um just to give give you a heads up that um, these are the, some bad areas and some good areas you should keep it uh, keep the list in the mind and then uh, take a decision and um, and in the end we would like to just um, give you some uh, more tips like um, if you are uh, living maybe in a bad area I think it's a I, we can even say that it's a must 
that if you think like you can bring IP cameras along with you yeah they're, because they're very cheap um, these days like um, you're not gonna find uh, anything uh, like 24 by 7 recording for that you need a proper setup I'll say must get it because if you will going to have any issues the only one thing guards will gonna ask for is do you have any proof yeah. well guys that's your proof it's a must handy thing mm -hmm. to have it's an IP camera right and always, um, always um, prefer uh, apartments than houses. Like houses are very easy to get in. Um, many people, many robbers, like um, like usually all the robberies, um, people think happens in the night. But now in here, like most of the people comes in the afternoon. So uh, it's when very, no one is home and yeah, they are working. They, yeah, I've seen many videos. They can just break the lock very easily. Uh, get a. Uh, just make sure uh, whenever you're getting a house the door is uh, like a well-built and new type of uh, door um, all type of doors they can just break it just just like that and very easy to get in so that's why uh, you should always prefer to live in uh, apartments they do have their uh, parkings usually but even though if uh, there is no parking it's uh, they do have a security system and um, robust gates so that's why we would suggest to get apartments and houses. Must have your international license. Mm. It's because if you're driving, you will not going to have many issues which others are having. Mm -hmm. You will gonna take your car to your office, to your school, and you will gonna come home. You will not going to have many issues. Mm -hmm. And you can't drive without your international license. And with the Irish license, it will gonna take you at least six to seven months. So mm -hmm. if you like to drive, it's always raining. Mm -hmm. And if you have your international license, boom, you're yeah. out of the trouble. Yeah, we we will try to make a uh, next video maybe on uh, driving and uh, how to pass the test and um, what are the steps basically. And international license will be beneficial. It will be valid for one year, and um, insurance will be a little bit expensive. But in in the meantime, you will be able to drive like uh, just like that uh, straight away, and and after that you can apply for the learner and go to uh, permanent after that. All right. And, so guys, and in the end also I would suggest uh, if you are buying a bike uh, or a bicycle, uh, just buy a proper lock, like a big big ass lock because um, they are very vulnerable here like people your bike will get stolen really really like to buy um, uh, rob the bikes uh, if, if they, they if they cannot steal it like they're gonna break it so guys thank you so much for watching us again and if you have any questions any comments please do let us know mm -hmm. and we will try to answer um, as much as possible right and, now and as most soon as possible Right, and we are open for any suggestions. And if we do have any, then uh, just leave it. Please do comments. let us know. Mm. I would, guys, I would like to see some numbers. Mm. We want some bumping up the numbers. Do you subscribe? Do you like? All Thank right. you so much. Namaste. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye.